The Raiders started free agency early by re-signing one of their own. Justin Ellis signed a 3-year, $15 million deal with $6 million guaranteed. I'm pretty indifferent on if Ellis came back or not. He signed a rotational piece deal and that's just what he'll be. The Raiders are not locked in long term and are still in the market for a defensive tackle that can get pressure up the middle. The biggest news currently is Alden Smith is officially released from the Raiders. Talent wasn't the question. He was in jail for domestic violence charges and released on bond. I don't count on him being a Raider again and he needs to get his life back together. He proposed to his fiance and looked to be turning his life around. He needs structure and hopefully he turns his life around soon. John Kondo has been told he will not be back with the Raiders. He's been a great long snapper for years now and the Raiders have been excellent on special teams. He was probably making too much for what he did, but it really wasn't too costly overall. The Raiders special teams will look really different without Janikowski and Kondo. Marquette King is the only returning member of a great special teams trio. The Raiders are going to let Navarro Bowman test free agency. He's a proven leader and a sure tackler and is by far the best inside linebacker available. The Raiders want him back, but at a cheap deal. They want to let Bowman test the market and see what's out there. Ultimately, I think he comes back to the Raiders. The Raiders could certainly use him and he does not want to move his family. Now for the reports and rumors. Keep in mind, these aren't facts, so take everything with a grain of salt. The Raiders are reportedly going hard for Doug Martin. I don't like this move at all, even if it's for a cheap deal. Martin does have high upside, but he's 29 and has had weird production. He has had all pro seasons, but I think his best seasons are behind him. This feels like a Maurice Jones Drew type move and the Raiders will be better off with a young rookie. Trumaine Johnson is rumored to be the top free agent target for the Raiders. He's arguably the top cornerback available and is supposedly choosing between the Niners and the Raiders. The Rams franchise tagged him the last few years and he's played at an above average level but not Pro Bowl. He fills a need and would fit in well with the Raiders replacing Sean Smith. I don't think he'll be worth the big contract though. He's the type of signing that gets teams in financial trouble. I thought the Raiders would target Kyle Fuller of the Bears. However, he's been transition tagged and luring suitors away. The Bears can match any offer Fuller is given, making contract talks maybe a waste of time. Cornerbacks are highly valued and the Raiders would be better off spending their time negotiating with the true free agent corner. Richard Sherman was available and the Raiders were reportedly interested. Remember. He's 30 and coming off of an Achilles injury. He's never been about speed and athleticism as much as strength and smarts. I don't doubt his mind, but I don't want cornerbacks past 30. Also, he's more of a zone cornerback while the Raiders will lean more towards man. Ultimately, he signed a big deal with the Niners. He's a great player, but won't fit in Oakland. Allen Robinson was not tagged by the Jaguars. It's surprising given his production, but he is coming off an ACL injury. He's by far the most proven player in free agency at wide receiver. Robinson might be the top receiver and some team will be desperate for wide receiver help. I think he signs a big deal, leaving the Raiders out. It would be fun to see Robinson and Cooper on the field, but that's too much money spent at one position. Sammy Watkins is going to be a free agent. The Rams tagged LaMarcus Joyner instead. Watkins is still very young and loaded with talent. Production has been a big problem and he's teased each year. Some team will look at his immense potential and bet that they will be the team to bring it out of him. The problem is potential can only take you so far. Watkins to the Raiders is a fun idea, but not one that will happen. In a bit of far out there news, there was a rumor talking about a trade between the Bucks and the Raiders for Gerald McCoy. McCoy is 30 years old, but is still one of the best defensive linemen in the NFL. The rumor is the Raiders are going to give the Bucks a second round pick. It would be a good deal for the Raiders, but I think it's too crazy. McCoy is too good and I don't think there's any truth here. What could be true is Muhammad Wilkerson joining the Raiders. He's an immensely talented defensive tackle who hasn't produced to the standards of his big contract. Bruce Irvin aka Baby Reggie is trying to get him on the team and there could be visits. He likely won't get a big contract but could settle for a one year prove it deal. It could turn out to be a home run if Wilkerson signs a team friendly deal. The Raiders are looking into potentially trading for Brett Hundley of the Packers. The Packers aren't happy with his development and he didn't play well when Rodgers went down. The Raiders are looking to trade a lower round pick and a plenty of 6 round picks. It's not a big deal either way. I think the bigger message is the Raiders aren't happy with Connor Cook's development and want to bring in some competition for the backup role.
Lastly, the Broncos traded Aqib Talib to the Rams. He's getting older, but I don't doubt his ability to keep playing for a few more years. The Rams now have Marcus Peters and Aqib Talib in their secondary. We all know how well Wade Phillips does when given two elite cornerbacks. Both players have been huge problems for the Raiders and especially Derek Carr. Luckily, they're in the NFC now and Carr only has to face them once. Thank you for watching. If you made it this far into the video, please consider subscribing. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers so I can get my YouTube partnership back. Like the video if you enjoyed or thumbs down if you didn't really like it. Thanks for watching again guys.